Hey guys, today I'm going to be playing the Seafire FR-47, and I'm going to be showcasing just the insane difference in performance between its stock and its spaded performance. So this first match I'm showing is going to be playing it completely stock, I've removed all modifications using default belts, and here I am, full wep, getting up to 350, and then putting myself into a 15 degree climb. Now look how insanely fast my IAS drops. Now obviously this is a uh, 4 times speed, but still... This thing, really slow climber stock. Um, I believe Adam, the engineer, did a video on this a while ago, and he um, showed that there was like a 60% horsepower difference between the stock and spaded variant, and like the the turning circle and everything was insanely different. And as someone who has spaded this aircraft, I can agree, it is terrible stock. But it's still a good plane. You know, you get four Hispanos, which, when they work, they work. There's... Uh, 496 rounds between them, so um, for the whole four of them, and this, uh, if you can hit, then you're good. But they are his sparkos, so if your ping is too high or if anything's gone wrong, then you're just gonna spark, 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 spark. Now, this game is El Alamein. Um, it's, it's a pretty short game. We do end up winning it, I believe, but um, I die near the end. Because this is the stock, and I, as you can see, I'm going after Fockel. For, I, was he bombing a base with that fucking 250 kilo? I don't know. Surprisingly, the default belts work, and I get an easy kill on him. Just take off his wing, and I start reclimbing. But as you can see, my, my speed is just dumping. And uh, I've I've sped up the footage for all the bits where it's getting to and from the battle. Uh, I was trying to tell those friendly Spitfires to not go dive on that BF109 because it's a waste of their energy, but they didn't listen. Yeah, it is. As you can see, I'm trying to keep away from the enemy team because they're all way above me, and I'm quite low. And obviously, I don't have the power in my engine to really climb up to them at this point. BF109 is diving on me, so I start defensive flying. Now, I'm either trying to force him to pull neg G's, or I'm keeping my wings 90 degrees to his wings so that he can get proper shots off on me. That's pretty much the best way to defensive fly in any plane. Um, I learned that from Spitflyer's videos, and he's brilliant, way better than me, that's for sure. I take a lot of inspiration from him, though. Um, as you can see, I'm just I'm checking my minimap, I'm checking around myself for any of the enemies, and I'm deciding to go after this BF-109 that's in front of me. I'm not really sure what he did to get so slow, seeing as like he dived on me from like four kilometers, but I'm not too, I'm not complaining about it, you know? gonna do that. No, this guy's coming in at me, so I can't focus on the first one. If I tunnel visioned, I'd probably be dead. Push ahead on with this guy. Um, his name is Abysmal. Mine, not so bad. Still terrible. Like, I could, probably could have killed him sooner, but go with pilot. Now I'm hella damaged, so I decide to just book it back to the runway. Um, there's still a whole bunch of enemies above me, so kind of defensive flying to try and get them away from me. But it looks like, uh, He's gonna bug off as soon as I get back to the runway, which is nice. You know, I've got a friendly Spitfire going after him, so. Yee. Good teams. What is this? This is definitely not worth under, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> start running back to the runway. Um, yeah, so this game seems like it's going in the enemy's favor, but they seem, they've seem brought their attack all the way over to us, so. Not the best landing, I will admit. <laughs> a bit touch and go. Anyway, start repair, fully repair, take off. Notice there's a whole bunch of enemies around our runway. A couple of wolves high up as well. So there's the, the JU-288. He's getting shot down. That fuck wolf, I notice, diving. I think he notices me and pulls off. Um, So I start trying to like chase him away from my team because I don't want him killing my teammates. Because they've got more energy, they're probably in a better plane. Uh, if their plane is spaded, then it's probably a lot better than mine. This fuck wolf is gonna dive on me in a second, or one of them is. And, um, it's gonna be pretty much the end of the game for me. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just trying to get under the other fuck wolf's guns. Because uh, I know he's gonna come towards me. And this, you know, on a normal pilot, it would have been fine. But this guy, he's so committed that he kills himself to get that kill. Anyway, 
Now that that nice. little Mimi section's over, um, as you can see, the performance completely drastically different. Um, so I'm taking out the C fire now in fully spaded in a game just against Russia on Korea. Pretty rare map uh, outside of Jets, actually. Um, but I quite like it. It's a nice big map. It's, it's not like complete, like not the most rare map, but it's definitely rarer than I think. Um, so I'm just taking it out, put myself in a nice steady climb, and look at the fucking difference. Like compared to how it was earlier, I'm staying stably at like 330 kilometers an hour. Whereas earlier I was like 280 maybe. It's a 50 kilometer hour difference in just the climb rate or in the speed while I'm climbing, and I'm just like full climbing, full web. Now full web does absolutely drain the fuel on this thing when it's spaded. So that's one thing you should look out for if you're ever flying it. Notice there's a couple grand attackers bombing the bridges in the light AA. One of them just crashes the IL-10. Pretty nice. This is SU-6 who is just wiping down there. Yeah, you're in a grand attack, you might as well grand attack grand units, but it does show me that about half of their team is non-fighters, which you think would make us win, but my team is not the greatest in this game. They're good at baiting, and they're good at like pouncing on opportunities, I guess, but they uh, end up... We ultimately lose this game, even though it's a pretty brilliant game for the Seafire, in my opinion. Uh, so firstly, I go after this P-47. I notice he's, he's not paying attention, or I don't know what he's doing, but just a couple sprays and pilot snipe. Easy kill. And I continue on, just uh, flying off with the C fire. This is another P-47 out in the distance. Decide to go for him next. Now, Russian teams do fare worst against the C fire. If you've got a good couple of C fire pilots against a full Russian team, they're much lower altitude usually. Like this thing can climb above them. You've got the performance on all of them almost. So this is probably the ultimate matchmaker if you have a good team. And as you can see, I'm going after another P-47. He's just running away, or well, slightly. I guess he he didn't really notice me, to be honest. Um, so I was just chasing him. He was going towards the battle still. I'm catching him pretty quickly now. As you can see, he is just still oblivious to me, so I'm just slowly slotting in behind him so I can get easy shots on him. Honestly, I find it hardest to shoot people when you're directly behind them, because you're shooting such a tiny silhouette, like a tiny cross-section of the plane. I find it easier... If you're coming from above or below or from the sides. But I guess I'm a bit weird like that. So anyway, I'm closing in on him. 0.6 kilometers. Start spraying. A couple misses. Not the greatest shots. Again, just misses. Crit. I thought, oh, that'd be nice. Start spraying quite a lot now. Um, But yeah, take off his tail. Easy kill again. <laughs> this guy came in out of nowhere. Had no idea he was there. Fuck a wolf. This guy actually ends up being the end of me later, later on in the game. But um, he's the reason I lost, I think. Even though this is a four kill and one assist game. So, pretty good game for a, uh, for a C fire. So I start. I notice that there's a whole bunch of guys above me, so I'm trying to drag them down so that my team gets easy opportunities on them. And while I'm doing that, I notice the SU-6, so I go after him. I'm trying to ping the guy, or like tell my team that I'm attacking, so I slightly overshoot him. So he gets to pull up like this. I try and get a cheeky shot. Just a couple hits, though. And that's where the Hispanos are the worst, against like an armoured thing, like an armoured grand attacker, like the SU-6 or the IL-10, you know. The Hispanos just don't work, you know. Um, MG-151s probably would have killed him in that strafing run. So I see my teammates taking off his wingtip, I get a crit, and then leave it because he's in a flat spin. And there's my assist. So that's so far, two kills, one assist. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Not taking any damage yet. That's a emphasis on the yet, though. Notice there's an enemy chasing me. I'm going... Look how fast I'm going in a straight line, though. I'm like barely losing the speed, except for in turns. Notice this Yak-3 is going after my teammate. Um, I don't know how I pilot sniped him there. Honestly, like, that was one of the cleanest pilot snipes I've gotten. And uh, I keep going. So I'm on three kills, one assist. There's a PM1 on my team who... <laughs> he, I don't know what he was doing this game. He was grand pending and then he was returning to the airfield all the time. I notice that uh, I'm really low on ammo, I'm on like 10 rounds, so I decide it's time to bug out back to the airfield. So I sped out the footage again, because it's just going to and from the airfield. Um, yeah, so um, I guess I'll talk about that guy in the last game who <laughs> compressed to kill me. Like, the kind of people that do that. Is that one kill really worth the repair cost and the potential crew lock of crashing into the ground? Like, I mean, I've compressed into the ground before, after trying to get kills, but like, that was incredibly greedy. 
<laughs> what the hell is he doing? Is he another weird landing? As I'm just trying to slow myself down. But much better than the last game. You know, no more bouncing all over the place. And landed. Rearm repair. I've got an expert crew on this thing, so really quick rearm and repair. Take off. Notice it's just us three left. Tell the PM1 to stick with me. He does. But he doesn't climb. And that, that really annoys me, because... You know, you're in a PM1, and that thing is a brilliant fighter, if you're good with it. This guy, he just sticks along the ground and he goes after the ground targets. It would have been really useful, because there's only two enemy planes left, like two enemy um, aircraft left, uh, fighters. Jesus Christ, I'm a dumbass. Um, so it would be nice if we could have just, you know, fought together and killed them. Like, I wouldn't have pushed the risky head-ons that I did and eventually lost. But, you know... It just happens. War Thunder. Still like that. Yeah, I'm just climbing towards them. I know that there's a couple of them on the airfield. I'm, I think all of them are, but it turns out that the Focke Wolf is not on the airfield. Which is ends up being the reason we lose, I think. He got off way quicker. And so I start leveling out to try and get some speed. And then I'm going to dive on them, because I see three dots below the clouds. Um, But then I notice the Focke Wolf further out. And uh, realize that, oh shit, there's a guy at my altitude that I have to deal with first. Just under my altitude. Now, honestly, I don't know why I lost this. It was dumb. I started chasing the Focke Wolf. Uh, he started running, but I'm catching him by a long shot, because, you know, see fire fully spaded. That horsepower. <laughs> slowly, slowly catching. And he probably should have turned around earlier. Because he would have gotten more shots on me. Probably would have won the head-on if he turned around earlier. But, you know, I start spraying long shots. I just take him out, but he gets my wingtip, and that's pretty much me for the game. I do go after the uh, last fighter, but you know I can't, f I can't fly with this. So um, that's pretty much it. That's the game. Four kills, one assist, pretty decent. You know I showed off how mu how good this thing can be, like how much altitude you can gain, how speedy it is, how the guns can work with the non-stock belts. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hope you guys have a great day. See you next time.